Welcome to Luxury Beast YouTube channel where we explore all topics related to luxury. For more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with your friends. You immediately accept that when someone is accused of a crime, they were arrested, issued a prison term, and thus lost all of their possessions. You could not be more mistaken. A few imprisoned offenders are still holding on to their wealth in anticipation of their release. Apparently, the top 10 wealthiest convicts in the world will be addressed today. Having said that, let's start. Starting from the bottom of the list is… Number 10. Jeffrey Skilling, net worth $500,000. American businessman Jeffrey Keith Skilling, born on November 25, 1953, is most well-known for his role as the CEO of Enron Corporation during the Enron Affair. He was found guilty in 2006 of federal felonies connected to the demise of Enron and ultimately given a 24-year jail term. Skilling's conviction was partially overturned by the Supreme Court on June 24, 2010, and the matter was remanded back to the lower court for a new sentencing hearing. Enron went from being the seventh largest corporation in America in 2001 to a burning financial wasteland that personified business avarice and white-collar crime. According to Time, the two executives were jointly tried in 2006 and found guilty. While pending punishment and staying at a vacation home, Kenneth Lay passed away from a heart illness. Skilling is currently serving a sentence of 24 years in federal prison. Number 9. Oliver Schmidt, net worth $1 million at the time of arrest. Schmidt worked for Volkswagen in AJ in Wolfsburg after finishing his mechanical engineering studies in Hanover. Schmidt moved to the United States at the age of 35, where he supervised VW's emission division in Michigan starting in 2012. Oliver Schmidt, a former official of Volkswagen AG and a German citizen, was given the maximum penalty of 70 years in 2017 for what the Detroit News called possibly the most significant and costly conspiracy in the history of the global car industry. Schmidt was at the center of VW's deliberate dieselgate strategy to modify diesel cars so they wouldn't violate American pollution regulations. Number 8. Martin Shkreli Net worth $70 million Martin Shkreli is an American former hedge fund manager and convicted felon. He was born on March 17, 1983. In addition to being the co-founder and former CEO of the pharma firms Retrofin and Turing Pharmaceuticals, now Vira Pharmaceuticals, Shkreli is also the co-founder of the hedge funds Alea Capital, MSMB Capital Management, and MSMB Healthcare. He also served as the former CEO of the startup software company Godel Systems, which he founded in August 2016. Martin Chakrelli, the so-called pharma bro, who allegedly hiked the cost of a life-saving AIDS medicine by 5,000% and afterwards boasted about his earnings on Bloomberg in 2015, is among the most despised suspected corporate criminals. However, he is held in detention awaiting punishment for an unrelated case, as according to CNBC. At the two hedge funds he managed, he defrauded investors by misrepresenting the success of their investments, and he was found to be guilty of this in August 2017. Number 7. Raj Rajaratnam Net worth $1.3 billion in 2009 The Galleon Group, a New York-based hedge fund management company, was founded by Raj Rajaratnam, born on June 15, 1957, a former hedge fund manager who hails from Sri Lankan and American ancestry. On October 16, 2009, he was apprehended by the FBI for insider trading, which led to the closure of the Galleon Group. The Southern District of New York's United States District Court heard his case. According to Reuters, a judge denied Raj Rajaratnam's attempt to have his 11-year criminal charges commuted in 2017. Rajaratnam was suspected of earning up to $63.8 million from insider trading on stocks like Google and eBay between 2003 and 2009 and was found guilty in 2011 on 14 counts of security fraud and conspiracy. Number 6. Bernard Ebers Net worth $1.4 billion in 1999 
Enron's bankruptcy in 2001 set off a chain reaction of significant cheating exposes that brought down a number of significant businesses. One of them was WorldCom Inc., the second largest telecommunications corporation in America and a longtime favorite of Wall Street. The Washington Post reported at the time of Bernard Ebers' imprisonment that he had started serving a 25-year imprisonment in federal penitentiary for his part in a major $11 billion accounting scam. Number 5. Wong Kwong Yu, net worth $1.6 billion Similar to Roger Ratnam, Wong Kwong Yu, also recognized as Wang Wang Yu, was brought low by insider trading and bribes, according to Forbes. Wang Kuang Yu, the founder of Gum Electrical Appliances Holding, the leading electronic store in China, was the world's most wealthy individual in 2006. His suspicious $230 million windfall from trading shortly before business news signaled the start of the crisis. He allegedly attempted to bribe tax and law enforcement officials in order to obtain business advantages, which made matters worse. He was found guilty and given a 14-year prison term in 2010. Number 4. Ang Glap Seng, net worth $1.8 billion at the time of arrest. Ang Glap Seng is facing a punishment at his $4 million Manhattan condominium after being found guilty in a bribery trial in 2017. Based on a source cited by Am New York, the Chinese real estate tycoon is restricted to his home, which is watched over by private security personnel before he is given a prison sentence. The judge had ordered him to keep his bedroom doors open while his massager comes every other day, and he agreed to pay the private security company $35,000 each week to ensure that he doesn't leave. According to USA Today, Eng, a wealthy and regular visitor to the White House, brought millions of dollars in cash intended for bribery into the country using private aircraft. Number 3. Alan Stanford Net worth $2.2 billion in 2008 Alan Stanford was sentenced in 2012, and despite the fact that the prosecution asked for a 230-year term, the judge only handed down a 110-year sentence, according to Forbes' coverage at that time. The crime committed by the multi-billionaire financier was as serious as the 150-year sentence given to the infamous con artist Bernie Madoff. Stanford was convicted of running a 7 billion Ponzi scheme four years after his 2009 detention, according to Forbes. Number 2. J.Y. Lee, net worth $7.9 billion The Times-Picayune reported that when the company's CEO, J.Y. Lee, also called Lee J. Young, was given a five-year jail sentence in 2017, the Korean electronics giant Samsung, the country of Korea, and the entire planet was shaken. Although Lee was released from jail after appealing his conviction, Bloomberg published this at the beginning of February 2018. His sentence was reportedly lowered to two and a half years, and he will now serve a four-year probationary period. The risks were so extremely high that they caused a fallout. Lee J. Young was found guilty of bribing the country's leader, which led to the overthrow of the government, in addition to misappropriating Samsung Cash and concealing assets. Number 1. Bernie Madoff, net worth $17 billion Nobody in the past of financial fraud is as recognizable as Bernie Madoff, with the sole exception of Ponzi. According to CNN, Madoff handled billions of dollars from investors in 2008. However, by 2013, he had completed a 150-year term and was a prisoner making $40 a month from his job. According to CNN, over the course of several decades, his Ponzi scheme defrauded more than 24,000 people out of a total of $17.5 billion in principle. So, what do you think of these offenders then? Feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications so you don't miss a single video. Until next time!